Is uh, Soma in by any chance? Soma is currently resting. I can take a note. No. Thank you. Mm. Keep yourself safe. If you have to use the logging camp as a safe haven, you're free to. It's not I can't a chill. It helps. I sleep underneath the table inside of uh, Tazim's house. Right underneath the table, right at the entryway. So yeah, I know you said you don't like going into their house unless you have their permission. But if anything, Pick knock on the door. Up. If I'm there sleeping, I will wake up and come and help. I need to help. Thank you. <laughs> Let's get you up. Okay. You got a couple splinters in my hand, but it's worth it. <laughs> I can't really see. My eyes are filled with makeup. We can help guide you. Okay. And Miss Basil picks her up. If, oh. if it ever helps, Miss Basil, if they bring you here again, say something. You could, you could, put, you could put me down. You don't have to carry me here. My legs may be a little wobbly, but it's, it's okay, really. You said you couldn't see, so I was bringing you towards the light. No, it's... You just have to guide. You don't have to carry me. Oh, all the stairs it's that you us, so... No. If anything... If I'm nearby and I hear anything like that, just say a random thing. It might confuse them, and if I'm nearby, I can try to help. Roll a d20. Chat. Sam is going to be taking a lap or two around the city to see if he can see those guards again. Or at least one of them. Any of them. Understood. Help me. 
this place. Before I make myself scarce, if you want, Miss Raylan made me a, a bone dagger once. I can try to repeat and make the same if you want something. It's small, it's hidden. Like when I you're on have bench. I don't know where Lily put this. I had. I have to wiggle my hands, I'll tell you. Swim forward. I'm falling backwards, I have to swim forward. Okay, I'm good. Uh, I'm falling forward. Ah! No, I lasted a couple of seconds. But, oh, Jesus. The faint sound of a bell comes from Nodis Keep. This happens periodically. You've learned it coincides with the shifting of the guards. Which means the guards who are pursuing likely just went up to the keep. Just missed them. But you know their faces now. And you won't forget. Roll a d20. Someone there. <clears throat> you are correct. Literal thing. Mm. Name's Gobi. Or Gobi. Well, Gobi, can I tell you a secret? Yeah, you can tell me a secret, but he's here. Just between you and me. <clears throat> if I ever catch you trying to spy on me again, I will slit your throat ear to ear, then hang you from the mast of the ship in the harbor. Do I make myself clear? I wasn't there for you. I was making sure someone else was safe. Do I make myself clear? I stood. You dance in the shadows, you disappear. You watch yourself. Oh. Don't make me see you again. Because he had a potion, yeah. right, Swarty? You remember seeing it when we yes, were at the Yes, he had a potion. Seems. They they gave him a potion. Who had a potion? Uh, if you find so why, of Oma, do I find this tomorrow, out? Can you tell her I want oh. to talk to her? That someone is spreading this around to the point of almost getting me killed night. in the warehouse. No, I meant tomorrow. I, I haven't oh, heard anyone yeah. else talking about oh, it. Oh, Marin, perfect. I was looking for you. I know one person. Miss Basil, who's can we have a what? Yeah. I know exactly who was talking about that. Who was? Yeah. Dean Silver, for all your troubles. Can we have a word in private? That's yeah. With Thank me, that we can. Yes, that's what yes, the elves pay. This concerns more than just you, <gasps> if you would. Oh, mm -hmm. It's yours, do it, it with what you're with. I'll be right back, Dredge, okay? I don't know exactly who's been talking mm. and spreading these lies. <gasps> By the way, take care of yourself, okay? All right. Oh, I am so, I'm so sorry. So tired. He was asking around. <laughs> this 
this place will go. Interesting that it's occupied. Okay. Yeah, oh, wild. Your shack, then? My other place. <laughs> Basil. Is that the agitation I see on a Warforged? Yes, you could say that. Hmm. When I see a gloved figure following around my friends, it makes me a little bit agitated. Well, considering what happened to her, I am the least of your concerns. I only watch over her. Can you roaming around? Hmm. You're a person in a dark cloak. To be honest, in a marble and sandstone village that's hard to miss. Many people wear cloaks in Gradio. There's nothing new. I'm well aware of that. I don't suppose the cloak has a name. You can call me Savitar. Well, nice to finally meet you then. And you. Maybe we can talk again sometime. Uh, this has been pleasant, I hope so. Oh, Chef, no. This, my stick is starting to drift, so I need to get up my other controls. Oh, shit. Happens to one in Oh, men. no. <laughs> oh, okay. What? Nothing. <clears throat> I know it is in your nature, being a Bjorning and all. I do hope you're not going to do anything reckless in response to this. No. I've been advised multiple times, and I have my plans. All of it will be legal. We just can't push it back anymore. But it's good because I intend to do some pretty illegal things. Good. Just leave the one named Salim for me. Salim is one of uh, two brothers. Yes. He wears, he has brown hair and wears the turban. Mm hmm They just went up to the keep, changing of the guards, it seems. Of course. Well... The rest of I couldn't give less than two shits about. The problem is... When a gap opens up, another fills its place. This rot runs right up to the top, Mischief. If we are careful, if we bide our time, and if we wait for them to present their weakness, we can take them all out in one strike. I'm starting to get too bold. I need to treat them like the orcs and send them a message. And then you feel three fingers tap across your shoulder. Uh, give me a few moments, and I will tell you what I can do, okay? All right. Uh, the guards changed, Basil. You should be okay. Okay. As of about 20 minutes ago, they returned to the keep, switched out with the new guard. You are safe for now. <laughs> I know you know some things. You told me so. When you knew about my final day that I thought was my final day. (laughs) 
Someone's been spreading it around. Someone died last night. And I think it was a man named Angus. He's a very skilled fighter, too. But if you and your associates get to the bottom of this, then maybe no more rumors will spread and no one will have to worry or ask about all these questions that they shouldn't be asking. Will not go unanswered. <laughs> I'll get it done. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I couldn't do more at the time. <laughs> you being there. I believe that that was enough. And you doing this for me now is enough. Doing the things that I have asked has been enough. So thank you so much. I'll be sure to handle this then. <laughs> His name is Angus. He normally spends time Right outside the tavern. He has a deep voice. Kind of gruff. If you had been around today, you would have noticed him talking to Lily. A lot. And I mean a lot. And very openly. Most likely about what he had saw last night. My Lily tried her best. She didn't spread anything. She, she tried so hard. Not to give in to that. She's questioning now, too. And I can't tell her anything, so... If you could do this for me, then I know Lily will be safe, and I don't have to worry. And then Soma will be safe, and we won't have to worry. Anything to keep you and your girl safe. Thank you so much. Of course. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> Be in the comfort of your friends for now. I will. Would you mind doing me a favor if you're out? You're to go out to the mill tomorrow. I probably won't see sure. you because the repairs are basically done. <laughs> Would you wait until I do so first before you do? Of course, you two don't have to worry. Okay? <laughs> yep. Okay? <sighs> okay, cool. I'm good. Walk and talk. Yeah, walk and talk. Let's go. Have a good night, please. Please be safe, okay? Mm. Okay. Have a good night, Tor. Yeah. I know what I saw and what them saying don't sound like they're matching, but that is what I'm going to keep saying has happened. Okay? Nobody knows anything. No one's going to say anything. Yeah. And we don't have to worry about Angus. <sighs> what are the other two? <laughs> oh, hello.
Not really your scene. Be careful now, I don't want you getting hurt. I've been looking for you all night. I couldn't find you. What do you mean? Sometimes, during the day, you just vanish. It's <laughs> like I can't see you. It's like you can't hear me. It is what I'm good at. I'll keep my ears open for you, though. How about that? I'd like to talk about what happened today. You want to talk, is that what you're asking? Yes. I'm allowed to want to talk. <laughs> okay. Let's go sit down somewhere. What's on your mind, old friend? You're covered in blood. Yeah, that's what happens when you fight. I couldn't do a thing. You didn't need to. I'd like to talk about what I saw. Well, I know you did. What did you see? How far you've come. Uh, me? No. Now. <laughs> Look at me. Still got my ass handed to me. <laughs> I... But come on. You were against orcs. Yes. It felt natural though, didn't it? It did. I didn't have to think about it. I didn't have to... Oh right, my left foot's supposed to be here. I don't get that anymore. Good. You know, I remember the way you used to hold a sword. It was gripped it so tight. I'm afraid it would fall out of my hand. Now it flows. <laughs> you used to tell me I was completely insane, but it didn't make any sense to have a sword flow. You told me that word didn't make any sense to you. Yes, okay, I was... I was... Uh, I was less uh, right than you. Oh. I suppose that's all I get for now. <laughs> It helps when you have a good sword. This thing is... 
marvel. I feel like it does most of the work. It's certainly... A, it's certainly much farther along than your last one. We don't talk about my last one. Well... Oh, I talk about your last one. I guess technically this is my last one. We use this, uh, the iron of it to forge into the steel. It too has changed, I guess. It's grown. It's refined. It's perfected. If I have kids, it's been almost three, three years. years. <laughs> been nice. I could be an uncle. You could be. I'd need to find someone first. Do you think you'd be a good uncle? You'd be the best. You'd be entertaining mm. the kids. <laughs> I'll do your job for you. Good. I have other things to worry about than looking after a smaller me. Oh god, could you imagine? How much of a trouble maker. One of you is more than enough. And it's plenty for me. Well, that does raise the question... Who would the mother be? I suppose it doesn't matter now. Not necessarily. No. Do not be so certain. I don't have anything else to give, Derek. The first time shattered me. The second time broke me. And now I don't even have the pieces left. The way I see it, Alan's gonna marry me off to some lady to form some sort of I don't know, political game and an alliance or something. Perhaps. I suppose that's the end, though. You know, if there's one thing I think we have come to learn, it's that no matter how much the things around us change. No matter where we end up, we can make a life. Sure, the world seems hell-bent on making us keep retrying. But we know we can. How many times have you been displaced in your life now? At least three. Too many, Tarek. I'm tired. And yet, I know, I know you are, and yet your eyes still glow, your eyes are still that guide in the dark, they always were for me. They have to be. You know, that's what I love about you. A lot of people waste their time 
wishing they could be better than they are. Myself included. And I believe you've done much the same. And yet, you don't realize. You don't realize just how far you've already come. Because here's the thing. We could sit here and pity ourselves for all the things we cannot do, all the things we failed to do, and tell ourselves if only we had been better, if only we had been stronger. How many times have we said that to ourselves? Every day. But here's the thing. What does it mean? What does it actually mean to be better, to be stronger? Does it mean succeeding every time? Or does it mean always giving your best? It means being able to protect the ones you love. And so far, I've failed that. Quite frequently. I'm not asking to move that mountains. Is not... I'm just trying to hold on to what I have. I know. My point is that even with those failures, you still give your all every time. We saw as much today in those badlands. We saw so much today on that pier. You made the right choice. Running in there and trying to free her, even should you have succeeded, would have caused more problems than anything else. No. It, it doesn't make it easier. The constant feeling of no. hopelessness. Despite all other preparations, or training, or thinking, uh, you, at the end of the day, it's... Sarah's taking drugs. Heartbreaking. There's a cruel irony in that. There is. I saw... myself at my lowest point in her eyes. It's heartbreaking. The fact that you can do that to me. For a moment there, for a moment, the thought passed through my head that I really did not have much sympathy toward her. Given the first time I died was her fault. But, no, that's cruel. As far as I can tell, she's made efforts. Do you want to see that happen? It's... <sighs> what are you going to do? She... She's lucky. I guess. When I was in her position, I had no one. At least no one who cared. He's got me. Try and help her as best I can, but... I can't 
watch another person I care about slip away, Derek. Not again. Go check on Arn. Oh. It was good, I like these talks. Kyla? The most anyone can ask of you is to give your best. What if I'll be right here with you. Then you did everything you could. It is not kind, but it is true. See you soon. Stay safe, buddy. If it persists, we'd probably have to find out who the matron is and kill her. The rest will just probably fade away. Shariq, good to see you. Hey. Mm, good to see you all. Shariq, I didn't even know you were still awake. Yeah. I was looking for you. Sorry. Got a little distracted. Everything okay here? I told Tazim, but your reward is, reward is upstairs on the desk as well. A reward? Yeah, we're doing fine. For helping today, Payment. 15 silver. <laughs> Thank you. There's a wash bin in the bag. If you need to... You can thank the people who it... orchestrated it. You want it, help not picking me. off your... I'm poor. I'm not taking off the armor. The helmet? That's what I do. If you wait a few moments, you can go to a bathhouse. Unless you're too tired. No, I can come with you. As for what I was told recently, apparently, <sighs> with everything that's going on, I think someone outside of the people we've spoken to has, what, been telling everyone they can about Soma coming back. There's only so a few people who saw it. Right? Apparently so. Prime suspects are those who are but not enough people to be a whole town's worth. The guards said every person that they talked to about last night talked to a lot of people. Mm. That, that he died. I'm sorry what I couldn't contain you? the situation. <laughs> I also am sorry that I could not prevent every war in Ozera. We both <laughs> have on possible <laughs> tasks in front of us. <laughs> That's true. I'm not going to blame um, you. We just need to figure out what comes next. Well, I told you earlier today, I don't deal in half measures. Whatever we plan to do, I would suggest it's guaranteed. Well, it's a full set, whatever it is. 
the mission comes first, so... Bye. It has to be yeah. airtight. Because of what Raven's done, a lot of people are going to die. Right. I don't think we can prevent that. If they're going to burn everyone here, is there even a point to helping the town anymore? Oh, I saw the Major. Yeah, come by. The Major? What do you mean? He was at the clinic. Why? I don't know. But I saw him here. Hmm. Why the fuck is he in town? He just strolled on by. No guard, nothing. Just Wait, him. alone? Alone. Uh, are you completely sure? I didn't see anyone with him. He just... I was talking with the, one of the surgeons and he strolled on up. Curious. A little bit. Hi. Either he feels immensely secure or... He was moving quietly. I'm going to put the rest of my boots on, if you take my meaning, and I'll be right back. <laughs> Fuck this table. So. <clears throat> How does he do that? It's called He's milk. He's born with it. What? What? Yeah. What? Don't. Don't you see the <clears throat> beam shaped hole all the way through the table? You know what? Now that I look at it from this angle, yes. No. But now move it this way. It just looks what like a see? regular table, yeah. Yeah. Alright, Shriek, can you look at the yeah, ink blots on this craft. paper? Okay. Because you're the one that did that. What it's do you see? Mom stabbing dad with a hypodermic needle. Why does yes, that have to be hypodermic? Shriek. Very good. Nice. And this one? Oh. A bat. <laughs> like... When you swing with the very like, specific. The flappy one. Oh. Flappy one. Flappy bat. Oh, okay, okay. Flappy bat. And this one? Flappy bat. Flappy bat. Okay. Then, then yep, why was you're the a drow. One? Oh. What? <laughs> Should you get a second opinion on that? <sighs> I mean, you know, let me look if at you decide blocks. you don't like it, you can always change it. No, I'm locked in. Character customization right. closes okay. when you close the main There's menu. There's miasma, Severick. Okay, sub so brick. What if I walked in on? Uh, what's this one? Okay. You, this is the miasma. Uh, right butterfly. Uh, interesting. Trust me, interesting. I need the miasma after. Uh, That's clearly a bat. <clears throat> no, look, if, if, if you flip it, flip it. it butterfly. Flip it, Sif. No, no, that's dead mum. Yeah. There you go. It's flipped. No, that's Wait. coral. Oh, no, that's dead little brother. Yeah, no. Dead mum, dead brother. Dead person. Okay. Okay. Dead person. We can agree on dead person. And this mm. one. Okay. That, that, that person. <gasps> it's like a cat eating an eyeball. Yeah. Yeah. It Agreed. looks like a fish eating an eyeball. It's clearly a cat. Well, it's got I ears. Fish don't have ears. Where's the... Congratulations. Look, must they do. Uh, you're a dwarf. Have you seen a, a frilled... Wait, I, I think what? it's called... <laughs> the sarcastic fringe head. That's what it's called. <clears throat> I'm a very upset Sarcastic dwarf. fringes. Okay. They, they, they open their mouths like this. Wow. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I really needed that laugh, actually. I've been crying all up again. 
fucking episode. <laughs> I'll laugh, smile. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Emotional. You're very attractive. Emotional dwarf. damage. Yeah. Yep. Very I spent attractive half dwarf. today you just asleep. Me? I'm gonna eat some checks mix. You still got the fucking got checks mix? I didn't get to finish it. It's been I had hours. To to a fucking ranger. I know. Lacey, I've had a an FT meal today. The only thing I've had to eat today were berries and bread. Oh okay. please! Oh, I've had half a pop tart, actually. and that's it. Yeah. I'm yeah. Glad we might yeah. be operating on coffee. We might we might be operating on something that should. I be mean, sorry, isn't that what a pop tart is? I'll tell you. Berries that. mixed with bread. No, this one's cookies and cream. Huh? Okay. Because oh, I was talking well, no for with you. someone in confidence, and to me, everything was sealed, but it was rolled for to over here. So I was like, oh my god. You the fucking snitch? <laughs> apparently, I, th I thought everything was fine, but apparently Marcus not. the Rat Knight? Yeah, apparently. Rat Wait, what we, so what we actually... what, what, I'm confused then. No, it's oh, someone telling everyone stealing about this chair. Selma. It was about that thing. Hmm. Ah. So I'm actually really annoyed. But oh, well. oh. Oh boy. Yeah. It's fine. I was very close to stabbing a guard in the foot. <laughs> You don't know yes, how close yes, I was. I was on the pillar. The guards are saying that. And I'm like, and Lily is saying I'll that. I'll make a noise before I stab them. Saying that. I'll just so bring know it that... up to them uh, after this. Mm. So close. To... I'm so glad I chose the make a noise option first. Don't, don't they wear boots? Yeah. No, on the bottom. You you mean to tell me if, if, if a god lifts up his boot and shows me that I'm gonna see his fucking fugly toes? No, you're not. You're gonna, you're gonna see a thin piece of leather. <laughs> I hate that. Listen, I, I have perfect thrust. I had I was Don't right beneath ever the ever went... describe anything you ever do again as perfect <laughs> thrust. <laughs> Wait, did I just? I mean, it's still it's still what? just as bad as your new hobbit's name being. Ugly. Listen, I didn't know that, and now he knows that. What do you mean? Yeah. You've got another name. Don't please put a. Please. Yeah, yes. Don't tell yeah, another that. Another name. Guy's name. Mr. Severick. You know. <laughs> Your mom must have two names. You son of a. <laughs> well, I don't think he wants it's... his other name. <laughs> Sorry, I don't think he wants that one either. It, it's, uh... <laughs> it's a very fun name, let's just say. I see. Let's I go. warned you. Go get Gobby. I fucking warned you. <laughs> Got who? What the fuck? Listen, his, I was His Gobby. name is Gobby. <laughs> Gobby? Is, uh... <laughs> I was forced to come up with it within three seconds. It's slang for a very fun. No, <laughs> it's what she for. knows that the way that's what I was going Mr. for. Marcus is <laughs> going to be a sock. Gobby is free. <laughs> Don't say that. Because now she's gonna think of something even worse. No, what's, what's that one? What's the one that the Malfroys have? What's the one that the Malfroys have that's like Dobby on meth? Is that a thing? You know what I'm talking about. Or the, or the one that... <laughs> what? What? Oh. It's the mean one. What's his fucking name? I'm talking about. I can't cr remember. Cr I want to look Master this up has now. given his elf a gobby. Creature. Crencher. Creature. Crencher? Creature? Creature? It's something like that, yeah. Creature. Yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah. It's Dobby on meth. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't fucking point that at me. <laughs> Don't ever say those words again. Meth, I don't think that was all. 
Master has given Severick a gobby. <laughs> <laughs> Masters give Dobby nice. a speedball. Dobby is free. <laughs> oh my god. You know, we went from a very serious conversation to this, and Tazim's yeah. probably having an aneurysm upstairs. That's true. He won't be back for three hours, and you oh. know it. Yeah. You know what? Maybe I'm gonna go piss. How about that? Hmm? Uh, okay. Don't do it. Very ladylike of you, Sif. Listen, yeah. after the conversation I just had, this is just what I needed. So I can ignore the fact of the conversation I just had. I warned you. By the way, those were real tears. I could tell. Way, I, I was. <laughs> my, I was like, no. My fucking headset was. I was full. like, no. That fucking sounds tears, so. Dude. Fuck you for being a good actor. I, I Listen, made my heart just be like. Thank oh. you. <laughs> be worse. It's just the one you good thing that I am see. good at. I had trying on demand. <laughs> be worse. <laughs> the skies off no <laughs> and dive into the water and i'm like i climbed up the pillar and i'm like okay so there's the gods there's basil oh they're threatening to kill her uh 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 oh, what's that someone over there and then they're like oh well let's leave and i'm like oh, i'm so glad you did that because they went in for a thrust and they were about to actually okay, kill me. And I was like, oh. I saw, mm -hmm. I could see their yeah. arm. I saw their arm pull back. <laughs> something now if I don't face the What does the perfect thrust look like? I can show yeah, you. Yeah, what does that look perfect. like? Yeah, yeah, big boy. You got the perfect thrust. <laughs> <clears throat> From behind. Probably not listening Part to One major? Piece OST for my sad <gasps> music. <gasps> I'm listening. I'm know. listening to uh, encryption death card cabin. There was oh. a there was a bit at the end of Blackwell it's... when we're exploring the manor, and I was looking around and I had what's new Scooby Doo? We're coming after you. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I can totally see that too. But oh my god, especially when it got all decrepit and gross and stuff like that. Yeah. I can see that. So fully? Oh my god. <laughs> oh god, I really needed that. I have a whole fucking <clears throat> headache because I've had three slices of salami and... You buy salami. Why are all of us eating like FG day? character? Hold on, no. Why are... Oh, hello. <laughs> Why are you breaking my fucking immersion? <laughs> you got your boots on? Oh, he's oh, taking him off, remember? We're just talking about oh, what we ate for today. I had bread and berries, because Gabon wasn't dry... in town. I had oh. half a Pop-Tart. Oh, well, I haven't, he hasn't been in his thing all day. At least I when I was that. in the ocean. Mm. Yeah. The rest of it's sitting over there. Are we bathhousing, or what's the deal? Yeah. Shall we go? I can get all that set up for you. <sighs> we'll follow up. I just need to speak to Sheree before we come. Okay. Soma says it's okay for me to go to my bathhouse if I have Sith, so... Well, you have me, so... <laughs> Let's go. I am going as well because I feel like he might be dangerous for me. He can learn. What's up? How are you holding up? Uh, fine. There's a lot of shit going on. Yeah, I mean, we deal with it though, right? You gonna tell me? I don't know if I want to. Not because I want to lie. Sorry, isn't it? You do know whatever it is, I'll support you. 
it's not that. It's... You're right, there is a lot going on, and I just... want you to believe that I'm strong. Kylo, how many times have you seen me have to lean my head on her skull's shoulder? He's not here now, though, is he? Like you said, we don't know No, and he wasn't there. For many years, as he had his own mission. Him being here is only a recent development in the last three years. I always <clears throat> have enough strength for myself and my son. There is nothing you could present to me that would make me throw my hands in the air and give up. Sure, I will worry. But that is my job. But even I have seen you grow and become capable and strong. That is why I trust you with the things that I do. That is why I send you forward. Rather than show you from the room and tell you, it's better you don't know. That's why I trust you to do the things that you do. But the things that you do, just like me, are stressful. And when we get stuck in our own head and think that we are all that there is, we don't share these things. It festers like a wound untreated. What is it? I just feel... You know, we, we work so hard to put out one fire and, and three more pop up and we don't get anywhere. And there's so much we have to do and so much we have to prepare for. And I have huge shoes to fill. And I feel like that day gets closer and closer so quickly. And I... I don't think I'm ready. I don't. And I'm scared. Heavy as the head and... I feel the same way. We carry so much on our I shoulders. My own father. And while it was not the same scenario that we are in now, I felt that same fear in my stomach. Wasn't sure if I'd be good enough, wasn't sure if I'd live up to the family name. But more importantly, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to justly and properly execute things and matters for both the people and my family appropriately in a way that would bring prosperity and safety. I will tell you now, my son, you will never be ready. It is the same thing as having a child. One day it will just be. And you will have to adjust. You'll have to realize this is my lot in life now, and I must adjust. But I, along with your retainers, will do everything in our power to make sure that you are ready as much as you can be, that the tools are in the box, that you have what you need, that even if it's painful to adjust to, you're capable. There are two things you have on your side. The first is where you come from. You understand how low and dirty the world can be. You understand how people who have not a single honorable bone in their body might try to come after you or the things you love, and you are able to prepare for them and counter them. The second is you will far outlive me, and you will gain a lifetime of wisdom that I will never be able to achieve. 
You will see and learn so much more than I would have, than I have, even if it was in a time of peace. You'll have time to hone your values, your honor, your wisdom. Time to make mistakes and time to recover from them and time to make sure that those who serve you and those who follow you never suffer the same fates that you have. Pain is the greatest teacher, my boy, in the worst way. Oftentimes, the people who have suffered the most I have found to be the kindest and most patient. You will survive. You will survive. And it is not my boots you have to fill. You have your own. They are different than mine. But just as grand and a little more unique. Quieter too. <laughs> yes. We. We have so little right now. We do. So few allies. We're allowing us. ourselves to be spread thin and get involved in everyone else's scenarios. And what we need to do is we need to focus on ourselves and our own goals. We need to stop doing things like what we did today. We need to start amassing coin. We need to start finding what mercenary companies in the area are willing to be hired. We need to finish filling out <clears throat> a crew for a ship. We need to get enough gold for a ship. We need to bend around some of the things we have said no to before, whatever they may be. And we will. If I am able to have a hand in helping put this province back together and the right people see it, I might be able to finagle something selfish, a minor title or whatever it is, to have a say in the local politics we start finagling things so we have an influx of gold, or silver, I should say. Make this into a minor estate. We would have to gather a personal company, which Sir Brooker would absolutely be the head of. It's all clean here. <laughs> With you at the helm right next to me. It's a tall order, but it's not impossible. We'll just need to stop bleeding for everyone around us for a little bit to get our foundations settled. Once we're in a better position, we'll be able to better help everything around us. What is the Which means we need to figure like? out who the fuck in terms of it's still just us at the head of it best case scenario best case scenario whoever is installed in charge of Nodis is favorable to us mm. whether they owe us something or in a perfect world they have a sense of honor and they realize that we sacrificed much to help them. not likely not in Gradia. we use that favor to curry advantages, either with the merchants, or the local mercenaries, or whatever it may be. We start amassing men. Passive streams of revenue. If we can get a minor nobility title, or a minor estate, we can start saving up to purchase properties. And we can start generating income from that. If we can get a passive income stream, large enough, We'll have a lot of pressure taken off of us. 
That means stepping out of the shadows. We're gonna have though. to do a lot of favors. Yes, it does. It's exactly what it means, my son. We have nowhere else to run. And the more I think about it, if those Imperials are coming here, the ones who are our enemies, the ones whose minds cannot be swept, they'll find us. Whether it's for being non-human or a deserter. Or a terrorist. <laughs> they will find us. I'm starting to think that if we play the game and we can get someone to sponsor us, someone powerful. We might be shielded from that. We have roughly twenty days, right? Before these ships. Maybe a little, a little less more than a month, I would assume. If we're lucky, yeah. They said two weeks to come here. So that means two weeks back. Then whatever time it takes to muster what they have, and two weeks to come here. Roughly a little less than a month is what we have. That's a long time to go unnoticed. <laughs> so far. Quite the opposite, actually. You think so? If they're gonna come here, they're gonna find us anyway. We need to be able to turn them back when they show up, which means we need to be in a position of power or have someone important that works with us. So we have... Okay. Like one of the barons telling them that their ships are not welcome in this port. They have 30 days, roughly, to what? figure that out. Or the backing from someone from the council. <laughs> you scoff. I do. Perhaps we might be able to find an ally through Cade's father. Huh. They work at the Institute. <coughs> Involved in things the I don't Institute. care about. But the Institute takes massive donations from members of the Council. There's a connection there. There has to be. Mm. What about, um... I don't know. Jack's family, where they... I don't know the story. They killed to the last man. Fuck. <sighs> Jesus. He was blamed for something he never did. His family became too popular, too well-known for what they did with their brewers' companies. The only person he knows to be surviving is up for a slave auction soon. We're gonna try and help him save his friend. Okay. As it stands, I have been promised Morden's company. That's his clan. Be a few hundred dwarves. Ursus clan. When we last saw them, about 150 <clears throat> strong. I'm hoping they've absorbed others and grown by now. And that coin. What about it? The one from Dorst. Auditor Dorst gave me something. An item that if I ever sent it back to him, that he promised me on his word. That no matter what the current state of the war was, no matter how bad things were, mm. and if that coin got to him, he would send every able body he could around this miasmic evil to aid us in our uprising. <laughs> Gave you a rallying token. Honestly. I know the only reason he did it is Gwen would be a buffer state between them and the Empire. Right. I'm no fool. But I'll take all the help I can get. Got me all the help, yeah. <laughs> Morden was talking about something. What? He has a theory that beneath, or somewhere in Nortis, there is a hold of from the Eastern Dwarves. He spoke of technology that seems close to magic. <clears throat> I... We believe... Close. The reason that the Empire got these... I've heard from Miss Venora about this. 
underwater boats and things like that. I don't know how much I believe. But what I do oh, know okay. is that after the Eastern Dwarves were invaded and they went silent, the Empire suddenly had night killers. If there is a way, and you taught me this, when you're outnumbered, you need a force multiplier. If there is something there we could use, some sort of dwarven tech, or stratagem, or something. The word that had come our way before the Trinity of Liberation was destroyed. <clears throat> was that the Imperials had destroyed most of the holds. They had realized that fighting mm. in the tunnels trying to force the dwarves out was folly. So instead they brought the mountains down on them. Oh my god. Months and months and months of bombarding. But that means whatever would be in there would still be in there. You're not wrong. But this is a pipe dream, my boy. Understand that the Eastern Dwarves, that's on the other side of what is now Theosia. Hmm. Just exploring our options, that's all. Pipe dream or no. Sure. Even if we did not go on foot, going by boat, that would mean passing mm. all of their harbors. <laughs> Something I don't think we could do unmolested. No, Morden believes that there is a hold in Nortus. Here. That's his current working theory. Why here? He's found... I'm sure shit is in the east. No, he's found uh, ancient dwarven uh, statues and shrines which would denote that dwarves would be here. He's also found several ancient uh, battlefields using uh, trench warfare, which is a pretty commonplace stratagem that the dwarves use, especially against elves. He's also- I've already told him this. These statues to Gerdau were built by pilgrims. I talked to him about this. And the mm. battlefield he's talking about was between the Redards and the Vapex. Before we ever came near he's jumping mm. the gun again ah, that's a shame <sighs> a pipe dream my boy yeah. what we should focus on is what we know we can do <sighs> we've talked with everyone else everyone runs around like begins with their heads cut off <clears throat> We need to install someone sympathetic either to our cause or in the very least are not sympathetic <coughs> to an invasion force or an imperial stronghold. I'm looking for candidates who could possibly take over the role of Capitano if, you know, he was taken care of. There is only one person that I can think of right now that would fill that role. Who? The Custode. Everything I've heard about him is he's an honorable man. In fact, to the point where he marched in there last night and saved Basil in the face of the other guards. Well, a man that size, I'm sure nobody wants to fight him, but that is one man. If he has no leadership skills, putting him in charge of a bunch of rat scallions that had no trouble doing what they've done to this town up to this point might prove disastrous. Most of the people follow the Capitano out of fear. If they had a reason to follow the sure. Custode, maybe they'd shore up, especially if we got rid of most of his command structure. I'm just saying that that's all I can think of right now to become the Captain of the Guards. I don't know who else we could appoint. You'd be going for someone well-liked by most people? Someone honorable. Either well liked or in the very least respected. Mm hmm. Sure. And we're in fucking Norta, so. <laughs> right. Chances are slim. Mm. I'll keep looking around, though. It depends on how far we're going to control the province. If we install someone, and I mean directly, more than likely we'll be able to finagle these kinds of things. Right. Well, we have... What if, hmm. by some slight chance, if we gain enough favor, 
Obviously, we would have to reveal ourselves to a degree to deal with the things that are taking place. Knowledge of the kind of struggles that we've been involved in. Even fighting those orcs showed plenty more than should have been. What if, for instance, I have the capability of putting the guards in your hands? In my hands? In your hands. Obviously, we would not stay here. As soon as we right. reach our quota, we leave. We can replace ourselves with ease, but the point is to gain control and keep mm. things from becoming a mess. We've been supporting third parties up to this point. Oh, interesting. How do we even... I don't know how well that's worked. How do we even go about that? Let's say we get rid of the Capitano and his ring structure. How do we get Marcus in there? We would have to have someone picked before we make that move against the Capitano. For instance, if we found out the Capitano was controlled by a mem, and we chose the back covers, we boldly approach him and we say, This is our intent. We're going to give you back your keep. We're done with this. In well, return, this is what you will do for us. Based on what we've been told, he isn't beholden to either of the barons. The Capitano works himself. But he is a pain in the side to either or. We could approach both. Hmm. No. If they talk, that could be viewed as treasonous. No, we would need to focus on one. Because if we gain faith with this one, and we focus on them till the end, it only helps build it later. There's one horrible thought I've had. If we get desperate, and I hate it because it is... disgusting. The Baroness is not in her right mind, and would probably sign just about anything that was put in front of her. Hmm. All somebody would need to do is get in there. Well, that's a whole other conversation. It's one of those things that you would call a last resort, and it is far from honor bound. If we are going to appeal to <sighs> one am... of the barons, it would have to be Kovas, no? Amem is heavily Perhaps. implied with the Imperials, and we don't want that kind of heat. Unless right. he can be seen that there is a better option. He already knows what we're embroiled in. Mm. He knows. Hmm. Maybe getting ahead of it would be the best chance. Yes. And perhaps making ourselves seem like a viable choice of support. Mm. But It'd... he would need a reason to trust a bunch of random peasants, and we'd have to make ourselves known as not random peasants. It would be hard to do that without right. the Major there. I mean, even the innkeeper, when he wanted to have a talk with him, the Major was there. It'd be hard not to get it back to the Imperials. That's the biggest issue. I don't know how to get around this, Major. Well, he's in and my worry is... Huh. The thought crossed my mind. The worry is, who replaces him if he does? Mm. Especially now. One of the lieutenants. <sighs> my point is, until a ship arrives... Who then? Mm. We've heard this several times, right? We've heard that that gunnery sergeant, whatever the fuck his name is, oh, no. was in charge, right, was in charge of the artillery outside of Oakenbrook. Oh, of course, yeah. When the conscripts destroyed it, he was blamed for it by the Inquisition that was present, and he was demoted, and apparently made a frontline scout for the initial invasion of the capital of Adwick. Hmm. This is all th from his word of mouth to people in town. Apparently something similar happened to the Major, I never got the full story from Vezran, but apparently he too ran afoul of them. 
I believe it was the initial invasion that Godfrey had led the resistance in with the Iron Wolves. Oh, right. Tobman was told he was taking too long because Tobman was holding his cataphracts in the rear. The Inquis Inquisition told him he needed to make an advance and quickly and commanded the cavalry to advance, which is where we ambushed them between the trees and the crags. So if there was a failure in a replacement and a failure in a replacement, if he fails here, more than likely he'll be replaced. And I do not want an Inquisitor here. Could we appeal to him? No. If he's been wronged by the Inquisition... Appeal. I This is one of those things where for wrong we're dead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're already at disadvantage because you are a drow. Yeah. I'm a wanted fucking criminal. God help you if they find out where you're from. Yeah. We don't want to risk any of you. God, it makes me angry, but we might have to see what Vezrin has to say about it. Oh no. Because apparently he's working with Tubman. He's also working okay. with the fucking robber baron. Still? From what our last conversation was, no. Uh... Oh, he's dipping his fingers in all the pies then. He has been for a while. I have something. Oh, great. I have something. Mm -hmm. And I need you to tell me what it is. Marcus, he puts in your hand <clears throat> a small, bent Imperial medal. Rolling. With a four, you're not exactly sure where it's from in terms of the regiment or the unit or whatever it is. However, with another four, you're not sure what the rank or insignia is meant for. Overall knowledge, with a 12, you guess, they could be wrong, that at least has something to do with Silver Knights. Well... It's an Imperial Medallion. Decent make, but bent right here. I can't make out the sigil here. They usually hand these out to... Oh, okay. Probably looking for uh, us. They hand these out to Silvers. On their inauguration day. Not gonna be very useful. I had bought this from Wainwright. Last ditch attempt, walking right in the front door of the embassy. Right. Until I can figure out well, anything more, I dare not try and use it. If I need a disguise, I can still fit in. That might be what I need to ask of you, Sir Brogan. I mean, hey, done it before. Getting those medical supplies, so I'm not hesitant to do it again. There is one Silver Knight that I'm aware of that apparently was watching Tang while he was in the embassy helping with something. The bastard is so fanatical that he was apparently watching Tang holding nothing but a barrel of gunpowder intending to crater himself and Tang. Oh my god. There's got to be a place that he stores his armor. And we'd have to try and find it. Aye. But this is talk for another time. Right. We should probably go to the bathhouse. <clears throat> We've got time. We do. We'll plan it out. Aye. Come on. <laughs> Go get cleaned up. <laughs> it's a little late for me. I might retire now. It's all the same. Oh, oh you bastard. <laughs>
I'll go alone then. Maybe Marcus will come with me. I'll bring my rose soap. <sighs> Fifteen minutes. <laughs> Fifteen minutes. Come on. Heck yeah. Oh, we're passing by Ladia's. She wanted me to do some renovations, actually. Knock out a few walls, put in a few things. Yeah. She's got money for renovations. Apparently, she's got coins, so <laughs> that'll help me get money. <sighs> Sorry we took so long. Hey, whatever. No problem. More coin, right? <laughs> In a bit of a conversation. That's quite all right. No worries. We've been passing the time. Learn things about, you know, things about each other. Is much better. <sighs> Did you move the cups? Oh, God. We're going to need one more. I was not expecting one more. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh. You guys are in here just to relax, you right? Any help in there? <laughs> I'm not that old. <laughs> The door is wide open. How about they at least shut that for you? Oh, shit. Got nothing to hide. That's what I do. Back now. He whispers. The one that was talking about. Followed Lumi in. There you go. I already have some wine and everything waiting for you all as well. <laughs> Thank you. So, when you're ready. Perfect. No problem. Thank you. Oh, Shriek. Mm -hmm. The people we helped today said they'll be in contact with you in the next couple days through me, so. Thank you. Welcome. Sorry, what? <laughs> the, pe <clears throat> the people we helped today said that they'd, uh, they'd talk through me to you uh, within a couple days. They might have something for you to do. Sure, I'm eager. If you want to, as long as they pay. Okay. There you go. Welcome. It's the first time I've been out of my armor all day. 
Yeah. Just, just be like me and don't wear armor because you destroy it every time you do wear it. If I That's was true. like you and didn't wear armor, I would be dead by now. A thousand times over. <laughs> also true. Well... Can't argue that So one. for you. Thank you. I did detach this blood from my scalp. Oh, I brought my own. <laughs> kind of figured. He brought his own. Always good last, <laughs> Right. Thank you. A lot harder to drink this when you're a hobbit. Get, get all that drink. sweat off you. Sweat. Blood. Echo. Oh, yeah. All, all that other stuff, yeah. All the Orc liquid. Spit. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. It's probably orc piss. I don't know. Oh, about. don't say that. <laughs> oh, okay. Nah, now it's in your head. It's in my yeah, hair. It's also it's in the water, in supposedly. It's in your hair, yeah. yeah it. Just a couple. Is everyone okay? Oh, yeah. We're never just a couple with the murder. Well, you've so never, like, snuck around somewhere and end up catching a, a pit stream? Me? No? Sneak around? <laughs> no. Please. Why would I? Why would I, why would I insinuate? <sighs> You're saying that just because I'm a drow, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. That's pretty much it. Well, yeah. thank you. Mm hmm. Of course. Would you be opposed to me washing your hair too? No, I would be grateful. Let's I don't mind. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Blue you should be behind. Day, hasn't it? Cheers to another eventful day. Cheers indeed. Be worthy yet. <laughs> Cheers. Hopefully well, I'm talking to you, aren't I? myself to be a decent leader. I know you helped me a lot, Tazim. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just want to make sure people listened and followed you when it counted. People can panic, you know. Oh, yeah. I think they did well today. Or at least up until I'm just happy I remember. Everyone made it back. Everyone made it back, right? Mm-hmm. Thank you all for your bravery. Looks so very scary. I was spearheaded by Miss Sif. Mm-hmm. Yeah, while it was spearheaded by me, I couldn't have done it without all of you, so thank you. Always a pleasure to fight alongside you, Sif. <laughs> Sorry, just a lot on my a mind. To see? Go ahead and just. Yeah. Put your head under the water for a moment, and you can get some of that soap out. He's burnt the camp down, so then so quick. Have an opportunity to check out the cave. Somewhere down. You feel pockets. her hands very softly, detangling parts of your hair. It's caved in on. There we go. You know, you don't... Would you mind... You know, getting my hair? Really? I don't know. Come here, Marcus. I heard it was like a... What? Get your hair for you. Do you Come want here. me too, Marcus? <laughs> nah, I, I got it. 
You brought it no, up. No, now no, the ladies no, no, no. are going to help my own. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> wow, he's worth it. Do I get past your fears, Marcus? <laughs> what? <laughs> Just women. And a hobbit. I have an hobbit. <laughs> Not yet. Yeah. Uh, you know, every time <laughs> I look towards you, my shoulder kind of backs up a little. You know who's really good at massaging? Yeah, fine, I'll do it. He... Is Marcus, do you want me to clean your hair? Very good at getting knots out of your back. So, if no, I will a good toss you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> See, Tazim, yeah, I did not. He person. does not need me to help clean his hair. I have a very no, strong grip, and my shoulders did hurt the first time. <laughs> Maybe I'm born with it. <laughs> Born with what? Hair? I, think I, I don't know, I heard someone just say All the spots it, you know. I don't know what it is, really but you've got it. <laughs> I do got it. Hmm. It's a nice change, huh? It's nice when it's quiet in here. <laughs> it's not exactly orc hey. war horns. It's either orcs screaming <clears throat> or 20 people in my living room. <laughs> <laughs> we should start charging people. It's basically a hostel at this point. I'm about to be fucking hostile to this The Forge Bar. Nice. Did you say Forge Bar? Yeah, so hear me out, right? <laughs> oh god, he hasn't heard about we the Forge I, Bar. I'm a builder. No, hear me out. We suspend Marcus, you need a, a whole bar table. No, thank you. At the top of your forge, held by chains. <laughs> now, by day, you work the forge. But by night, we lower it down. We have ourselves a little speakeasy. And? <laughs> Make ourselves a bit more coin, because people are just going to hang out there anyway. We're going to be directly competing with the tavern, then. I don't think that's a problem. I don't want to give them a reason to stay. <laughs> I see. Very well. You think I'm kidding? I, I had someone complain to me about me allowing Severick to be homeless outside of my forge. I'm like, what do you want me oh. to do about it? And they were like, give him a pillow or something. So I gave him a pillow, and he's still here. I said that he'd stay, and he'd come back, and he's still here. So now you're part of the forge. I've been forge, using Severick. the pillow. He thinks he's people. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not Part of the forge, part of the... <laughs> Thanks, Rick. I can put him as part of the foundation if if you'd like. I'll put him in a I brick. I can be really part of the forge. <laughs> yeah. Just... I can do that for you. <laughs> How'd you like to be made into a boy? He's I'm gonna give you, the long, give, me the long yeah. give me the long, give me the long, give me the long, give me the You know how he likes to dive into the water? I'll give him cement shoes. It's, uh... And then he'll really dive. Didn't didn't they do that to you already, Severk? Isn't that how you got over here, Donato? <coughs> no, they they tied me to a bell. <clears throat> oh, okay. Tied you to a bell? Yep. Who tied you to a bell? And how do I become friends with them? The people <coughs> on <laughs> no, thanks, Tazim. I wanna you know try the whole something. Slave boat thing. I please don't judge you know me for what I'm about to do. <sighs> No, no, say it, go ahead. Yeah. Well, he's going to try something. I mean, he's going to... No! <laughs> oh, I just conditioned him. Oh, I tried sh like <laughs> this! Wait, no! what? Every it time I clap my hands, he dances. My younger ears. Yeah. 
three you can train a half -wing. It's a it's, it's a conditioning I mean, most slaves go through. <laughs> Watch this one. It's probably entertainment for This a one's while. a good one. I'm, well, I'm not entertained. Oh god. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Put it there. Good boy. Oh, yeah. Because he became the forge dog. That's right. It was a whole That's thing. That's right. I remember that. Yeah. So much so fucked up. Right? <laughs> yeah, it's, doesn't it? it's pretty terrible. <laughs> Especially the fact that most several people wanted to drown myself that more than just now. <laughs> Lily, That's because Sif are you kept still over playing there? fetch with him with an axe that you yeah. threw at him. Oh <laughs> Can God. you bring the bottle of wine and the she tankard over this three way? Times. <laughs> A lot's happened to Zim. Oh, Andre. Oh, yes, I can tell. You yeah. Poor little bastard, I can tell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How many times has Dredge thrown you? Um, it's, I've stopped counting. Okay. Yeah. I've been trying to, to train well, him to say no, to... but he's... I don't know. That's pretty cool. I want to put him a in no a to the forge plate. bar? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay, I, I felt like we glossed <laughs> over it. Okay. It's yes, fun. we glossed over it on purpose. I didn't want <laughs> to have to explain to you why you're fucking insane. <laughs> All right, fine. You're welcome. <laughs> so, Rick, yeah, if to... I put you <laughs> in a full suit of Hobbit plate, would you die for me? Oh I've already God. told you I'm willing to do that to Zim. Oh, there you go. Do you oh. not remember? Um... See, he oh, still well. can't say no. Savick. What? Why are you not You give a man a pillow and he sleeps for a night. Nothing. This you make a, a man a, or you make a hobbit tonight and he'll fight for his life. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> You're not trying to warn my help away, are you? No. I'm militia trained now with a spear. If then you'd probably do the same for mine. No. You're only slightly harder to <laughs> kill now. <laughs> Watch that door between you and Tazim. You're not ready for it. <laughs> Don't ever. bring that up. I love the town of <laughs> Benam is trying to kill me. <laughs> okay, what if we got I like... Told him not to do it. It was a bad idea. What if we got one of those metal buckets and cut arms and leg holes? Good enough for plate armor. Well. Even in death, I still serve. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you be like that? Yeah, what's your fucking problem, Marcus? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> yeah, Marcus, what's your fucking problem? <laughs> I'm fucking busy. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? <laughs> I'll show the soap part to make you serious. Oh, oh my God. God. <sighs> <sighs> I already have a fucking death wish to add on to. Oh my god. <laughs> so uh, you wouldn't add to Marcus's death wish, would you? I think I already have. <laughs> Do you like cement? Severin? You wouldn't you wouldn't want him to make <laughs> a wish. You've been would talking you? a lot about cement shoes lately. <laughs> I'm gonna see. pour an entire barrel's worth down your throat. Oh my god. I don't think that would fit. I oh, well. met a hobbit today with the most peculiar name. Mm. What was the name? Gobby. <laughs> Gobby? How does that sound familiar? Did you? What do you happen to know who that person is so you could point them out to me? I wish I could. I'd be highly entertained if you did. You wish you could. I wish I could. I, wish I, could I really Maybe. wish I could, but I can't. <laughs> I'm he sorry. Too busy because sucking a, dick. Because, because if I could come name, across that person, I would break their fucking legs. I did uh, threaten to kill them. <laughs> if, if only they weren't forced to come up with a name because of their It's your job! How would you know that? Oh. You literally could have come up with something <laughs> other than.
first time I heard that's that, that's what they do in the rooms, you I got know? a little worried. What? That's why I got worried. Yeah, what, what, what we do in the back rooms? It's a you get paid, you give him a gobby? In front of certain company. Oh my god. <clears throat> Wait, Miss Basil, have? if I ask one of the bathhouse workers for a gobby, what, what is that? What does that entail? <laughs> Did you kill this? What do I get out of that exchange? Well, it sounds like they'll come and put Severick in your lap. Ugh. I just oh love. god. <laughs> Ugh. That's the worst oh, of the two options, I think. A little goblin? Oh, my alcohol in my tanker. No. <laughs> I'm Gubby the Goblin! Give us a, give us a no. gobble, mate. Just a little gobble. Go, mate. Give us one. Just a crumb of gobble, please. What? Just a little gobble. Just a little. Sh so go on. Give on a gobby. One gob. Go this on. Is one gob. Get. This please. is what you get for calling yourself this. <laughs> What did say, Sev? Listen, it's not my fault. Severk is given to see my like, oh, what's your name? <laughs> Gobby is free. Like this oh, is all my okay. fault. I get it. And I'm going to do this. Severk's a free forge because it's dog. his fault. Like, fuck he is. <sighs> That'll take more than a single Gobby to be free. To oh my, oh my god. god. What happened to that peace and quiet we had moments ago? It turned into this. That's true. Listen, it went from being nice, wholesome moments talking about. To not being able to hear anyone they... over all the gobbies. <laughs> <laughs> I truly so am in a bathhouse. <laughs> well, you truly are, aren't you? Mm hmm. You have multiple gobbies? Is that just a gog gog gobby? What the bastard hell? <laughs> I'm not drunk enough for this. Well, I think we should count on. Don't look at me like that. Mmm, <clears throat> drink stood. Mmm. <laughs> It is your fault. <laughs> what do you mean this is my fault? Oh god. Oh my god, he's giving him an underwater gobby. I'm gonna end this fucking problem. I'm gonna end this problem. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> oh, Can't just gob the man in the middle of the sauna. When I when I was a I know you don't know what it means. When I was a young gob, you when, gonna no, when I was a young kid. Okay. And I was, okay. you know, back in Korokatus or whatever. I used to play mm -hmm. soccer and there was a kid on another soccer team and he would walk around like this with his head. For some reason his head would bob backwards and forwards <laughs> whenever he walked. Yeah. And so we called him Gobby Kid. <laughs> and anytime we versed that team we'd be like, Oh it's Gobby Kid! Look, it's Gobby Kid. And now every time I hear that fucking word, I think of that fucking kid and how he'd walk around like that. Oh, thank god you only think of that and not something else, Ash. <clears throat> Huh? What did you say? What? Who's that? You know you, Don't worry. You, that's, I'll turn he, you to it's, ashes. It's okay. You are just... Is that right? So is Gobby good at... Uh, uh, Gobby kid good at soccer? I don't remember. I don't think so. <laughs> Well, I couldn't imagine Sophie sprinting after the ball. <laughs> he didn't do it when he sprinted. <laughs> <laughs> it was just how he walked. It wasn't. Example again, Seth. How would they run after the ball? How do they do it? <laughs> They'd be like. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Kind of thing. Taking the long rod. <laughs> Fuck. I hope he's watching this now, wherever he is in Grave. <laughs> Gobby kid, you out there? I hope so too. <laughs> I hope he knows who you are. <laughs> if I find someone tomorrow walking around like that, I'm actually going to scream. My, you've grown. <laughs> Is that a challenge? <laughs> <laughs> when last we met, I was the gobby kid. Now I give them. Oh, God. What? Now I am a gobby man. <laughs> I don't <understand>. <laughs> <laughs> I think the hot, <laughs> the hot bath water is getting to him. I can't breathe. I sure, I sure hope he was an orc too. 
<clears throat> you do great, Paige. We'll go back another one. <laughs> Take a breath and go back down. <clears throat> wow. Almost. Wow. It's foul. Can we go back to having nice talks? This is... I know, this was kind of nice. This was your <laughs> fault. No. I'm kind of interested in that. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so busy, so busy. No. I hate to bother you, Sharik, but you did say 15 months. I know. I, mm. I... Don't worry. It's okay. Oh. You've reconsidered. N uh, kind of. <laughs> Hmm. All this talk of Gobby and I, I feel like I can't leave now. Well, that's what keeps you going. It keeps me gobbing. Man strung, strung out to his next Gobby. He's living from Gobby to Gobby. Just a hit, please. Please to oh, see him. <laughs> don't ask me for that shit. Just don't a, ask you. Just a single <laughs> Gobby. father. Please, my lord. <laughs> Please, my lord, one go. <laughs> <laughs> Very well, my son. <laughs> Ready to receive. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't <laughs> breathe. <clears throat> oh, okay. You can't get a gob uh, like this on it, just any street corner. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I can't anymore, I really can't. <laughs> uh, I see why you drink. <laughs> that's why I'm an alcoholic, yes. You are correct. How are you feeling after when the fight, I though? Slave, I never had to deal with this. I feel tired I had to deal and with this, even as a slave. I was punched in the face several times. My armor took a lot of fucking right battery. Here, let me take a look. <sighs> you don't look too bad. Thank you. I never tell you a very yeah, pretty Come here, you. I've been... Uh, you are being pulled. Nope. I don't like this. No. Too bad. Uh, you said you saw. Let me help. did save me from the, the scary conversation I, I did not want to have. You no. know, my son. Axe's lube. You'll thank me later. I don't want it. I'm gonna. I don't want it. I need to head to the It's as even though it's fallen, it just sank to the bottom. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh God, I need an injury roll. <laughs> Rolling. Blue bottle shattered over face. Well, 15, you catch it with your teeth and bite down. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> What's mine though? Oh, okay. Actually, speaking of which, good catch. <laughs> oh, don't throw it! Don't throw it! No! Oh God! <laughs> With a natural twenty, it shatters <laughs> off his head. I fucking nailed I him. Bobbing for loom. Rolling. I mean, if if you insist. Clean it that way. Taking care of your blade. Why did you throw it? <laughs> It's an 11. I think it's around here. So. <laughs> I think I threw it around down here. Yeah, somewhere. If you somewhere, want to look for it? Somewhere down here. <laughs> Miss Seth, are you going to go back to yes. the clinic or are you going to stay here with Lily? Um, I'll stay here. Shriek, don't get your hips crushed. The He's a minus four to melee. Actually, it's strength checks. My bad. It's grappling specifically. <laughs> With a 
three minus four shriek, you'll be there, bitch. I need to go. <laughs> you heard him. Got a smoke. Guys, don't lie. <laughs> 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 no, please, no. I'm just giving you a massage, now it's fine. My pain. I know you're married. <sighs> I'm actually not. Actually, I, I don't actually think I know that. I'm not married. Oh, perfect! Then you can have your hips crushed. Come here. No, Sif. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Say one not didn't drink their wine. I'm gonna drink it. I need to. I'm just fucking with you happened. anyway. Besides, you are sober, so let me get the knots out of your back, and that'll be all. Thank you. First, I'm driven to do shit I didn't want to do. Now I'm being driven to alcoholism. I found the loop. <laughs> <laughs> he lives gob to gob so he can afford his alcohol. A sad existence. I found it. Here you go, Shriek. Why don't you hang on to it, buddy? <laughs> No, 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 this is yours. I do not want to be found cursed with this. I warned you, boy. Can you inside the bathhouse? I don't want to clean it up. I warned you. Actually, do that again. That that actually exposes a really good knot. Well, uh, the, come here, Severick. It's for his health. It's for my health. It'd be a good floor chop hit and do it, right? Is that good? Oh yeah, I feel that. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, it's, it's like deep in there, isn't oh, yeah, it? Yeah, it's pretty... Mm -hmm. Why do you sound like Gobby? Go away. Did you sound like you're giving out a Gobby? <sighs> Like you put a whole grapefruit like over them before you went at it. I should hope so. He does, doesn't he? Like, he got a whole fruit and like cut a circle in the fruit and put it on there and then. <laughs> nope. Even even Severick has that. I'll keep the front. I'll keep the front. Hope you guys have a nice night. <laughs> Speaking about himself in the third person. You've driven me to insanity. Okay. I'm gonna go look at the blue lobster now. Oh, Is that another sexual innuendo? No. I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> no. I'm just referencing the poor torture I did to someone else. <laughs> I drove around the same with a blue lobster. Don't let me keep you from doing what you need to do. What a strange so little man. <laughs> you Honest, are honestly, a sad, I tried to forget everything I hear around man. here. I do too. Most of the time, strangers get them no. though. So you're going to be staying here watching over Lily for me, Seth, or head back to the guild? Go for it. Have a good night. Shirik? Have a good night. It's Lily. Have a good night, sir. Mm -hmm. okay. I have a little mind. <gasps> So orc fight two. <clears throat> orc fight two. Yeah, noon tomorrow. <laughs> I don't have that kind of recovery. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Going out tomorrow too. 
No, I'm kidding. It'll oh, be a if we have while to. before we probably hit them again. That's what heroes do. That's fair. Also, well, we either come back or we don't. We're the only two options. Also, sorry for the buried comment. I didn't know. You know... You okay? I would ask what... There's a good chance she's dead now. Fine, I should ask you that. You know, if you ever need, I'm here. <clears throat> have to have an emotional support bear sometime, don't you? There was a lot of people who knew that that might be the case. Do you know how many asked if I was okay? None. Not one. Well, I might be a little late, but are you okay? Doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Doesn't change anything, Sif. No, but if it matters to you, then it matters. Regardless, and not if you can change something. I just... figured I'd be used to it at this point. For all intents and purposes, I should be. I think you're the person you need to be exactly at this moment. Huh. A broken husk of a man. No. I don't think so. I don't see you that way. I see you as... a caring individual, willing to lay their life down for others when they won't even ask how they're doing in return. Selfless. Honorable. Kind. That's Just a little jaded. The point. <sighs> I'm gonna turn in. Don't take my... If you ever need me. Bluntness or resistance is not appreciative because I do. I appreciate it. If you didn't appreciate it, you wouldn't be here with me. You staying here? Are you going back to Tazim's? 
Hmm. I'll walk you back and then come back here. Someone needs to protect these <clears throat> ladies. <clears throat> You don't think there's spare beds here, do you? There is, if you want. I wouldn't mind staying to make sure they're okay. Oh, sure. <coughs> Follow me, then. Let me grab my clothes. <clears throat> You'll have to lead the way. Yeah, of course. It's not far. Well, um, <clears throat> um, do you, hey, know, um, do you know if the bed upstairs is occupied? Um, uh, it's open. I think it's free. Let me walk you up. Okay, oh, Lily, perfect. Lily can get that for you. Thank you. Mm. All right, if you need me. If you need anything, no Sharik will be staying in here. I'll probably be up every now and then doing a lap around. Okay. Um, have fun, you two. <sighs> the bed's yours. No, anyway, you're... Well, taller than me. There's a little one over here. I'll just use this one. All right, if you insist. <clears throat> like I said, I'll probably be up in a, about. I don't know how light of a sleeper you are, but. Incredibly. <sighs> I apologize if I wake you then. Don't bother trying to sneak then. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, me sneaking across these floorboards. Thump, thump, thump. Give yourself some credit. Alright. Good night, Sharik. Good night, Seth. <clears throat>